How y'all doing today? This is Aaron. I am the new operations manager here at Black Dog Traders of Dallas. So we got a couple great projects going on, kind of had a new revival of the shop. We brought a lot of new people into our shop to help us out in certain points. Um, electrical, we have a diet guy, we got full engine builds. We got a lot of stuff going on. So I think what we're gonna do today, we're gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you a couple projects that we got going on right now. And uh, I'll do a brief overview of each one. So follow me. a lot of LS swaps. LS swaps have definitely become very, very popular these last couple weeks, months. Um, right behind you right now, we got an LS3 with a 6L ADE that we adapted to a Toyota transfer case. Um, it's a very, very common. It's about 430 horsepower on there. It comes with a six speed. You're able to drive around, no issues, and also throw it in four low or uh, four high, whatever you need to do on there. Um, so here's Two of them that we're working on right now and then uh, LT1 which is a little bit older what we've done with but we've transitioned into LS. LS has been a lot more user-friendly for wiring harness for parts for integration for transfer cases um, so LS is kind of our go-to now we do have a couple builds still with the L with the LT1s which I think is fantastic as well similar horsepower but a little different beast all in one so over here this is our fabrication area. Um, this is a pretty unique build. So this is an 80 series chassis um, it's from a donor. We put an FJ45 cab onto it. Um, and this, this vehicle is for a specific customer. He's using this as a welding truck. So we're gonna have this kind of like an old patina. So basically the fenders here, this, this style of patina, we're gonna sand this down on the outside, spray it with some acid kind of wash it down, let it sit outside, kind of get some of that aging effect, that patina per se. Um, this, the 80 series comes with originally a 1FZ motor, but we did something a little bit different. We did the 1HZ, which is the straight six, 4.2 liter turbo diesel, and we're putting an intercooler that's getting imported from Australia. So this is gonna be very, very cool frame off build, powder coat here and there. We're gonna keep the rims um, the tires are Hummer bulletproof rims right now, military spec, which uh, is a little bit rough riding on the road. So we're going to put some P-metric tires on there, uh, make this a little bit smoother ride so we can get off-road, off the grid. This vehicle here, this is a very unique build. This is a 70 series cab on an 80 series frame that's been extended uh, about 18 inches. So this has coil sprung front and rear we got delta arms lift kit two inch on 37s with nomad wheels nomad's been a great sponsor to us uh, helping us get their name out get our name out there into the media cycle um, something with this this thing's kind of cool because they still pretty much make these and drive these in the middle east so the middle east has a lot of parts that i'm still able to get through certain sources and brokers and stuff like that so this body is like 1990 the cab is um, but this front clip, if you want to show the front clip, this is actually a 2019 70 series front clip that we adapted on there, which is all aluminum. Uh, so we'll do some metal working on that and get that painted up there. So it's a pretty big project. This one should be pretty close to living off the grid for up to 45 days. Portable water, filtration water, solar system. Uh, we have a full smart cap from South, South Africa on here, which I think is going to be fantastic. Um, very, very unique build. I know there's some out there similar, but nothing on this level with the LS on there. Uh, <clears throat> moving over here. So this, one of the LS3s that uh, we showed you earlier over there is going in this vehicle. This is a 62 series local person here in Texas. Um, we didn't do the 80 series suspension. You know, we want to go a little bit cost efficient route. So we did spring over axle. So basically the springs will sit on top of the axle to allow us to get that major, you know, five to six inch lift that we want in here. This is gonna go 35s. This is gonna go Freeborn, Toyota Red, roof rock, roof rack with uh, KC highlights across the top. This is a full frame off build. So once we get all the modifications done, the front suspension, we'll blow it apart and get the frame powder coated. So go moving this way. We got another one, another 62 over here. And then we have a pretty special one here. This is a LS3 with a supercharger. We're looking at about 650 horsepower. Uh, basically all we had was a frame 
and we built everything off of it. So the fenders and everything were built tubular. We put on here, this is actually gonna be the color code, the TRD Army Green, which is a pretty cool color. I think this whole thing is gonna be really fantastic. We built all the suspension in-house. It's actually using Bronco axles front and rear uh, with a four nine inch spider tracks locker on the rear. So this thing should withstand pretty good uh, off-road jumps, whatever we need to do. Uh, right now, we got the Olin suspension getting rebuilt back in Olin, or not Olin, sorry. King suspension getting rebuilt uh, back at the warehouse, and then we'll get those back in here. We should have 18 inches of travel front and 21 in the rear. So I think this is going to be a very, very nice piece for us to get out there. The public will be able to see the type of modification suspension jobs that we can encompass here at Black Dog Traders. So we got several other projects that'll be coming soon well, hopefully we can get some more videos on a lot a lot more frequently uh, we're kind of revamping the whole social media we got a production guy now so we're just trying to get everything to the next level uh, we do have a lot of other people that found us out we got PSE steering that we're going to be working with uh, vintage air is now one of our uh, uh, our dealers so we can I'm completely connected with vintage air units uh, we also have English Color. English Color is now our PPG provider for all paint, body work, sanding, you name it. So hopefully we can get some more contacts and vendors and we can do some pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our builds and progress in the shop.